Today I'm going to share with you what it was like for me to be a taxi driver for one week in San Francisco driving for the Flywheel Taxi Company. And stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to share with you whether it makes sense for me to now continue being a taxi driver or am I going to stick with Lyft and, and Uber. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And about a month ago, Harry asked me, Harry the Rideshare Guy, he said, would you like to become a taxi driver for a week and then write about it, the experience? And I said, yeah, that sounds kind of cool because I'd always wondered what it was like to be a taxi driver and how much money do taxi drivers make and what's, you know, is it harder than being a Lyft driver? So what I'm going to share in this video are my five key takeaways here uh, after being a driver for a week. So my first key takeaway is that the taxi, the car, the actual physical car has a lot more moving parts and there's a lot more to do. So uh, I made a little video when I got into my taxi. It was taxi cab number 592. That's what the medallion says, 592. So let's watch that right now. But here's where it's a bit different. We've got this device here. So when people pay by credit card, I actually scan the card right here. And then um, that's this device here is what I use to print the receipt. And then this is actually pretty cool. So with Flywheel, it's pretty remarkable. It's, it's like a taxi and uh, a rideshare uh, service at the same time. So uh, here you can see I can tap on my account. And as of today, my account balance right now, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, yeah, there you go, is uh, $51. So I had one ride this morning and it was from San Francisco to the airport. So at this point, about an hour and a half in, I'm at $51. And then I can call dispatch, there's messages, and I can log out. Uh, when rides come in, they uh, it's like a ping, just like with Uber and Lyft, and I can just accept. And the customer can pay through, through the app, um, just like with Uber and Lyft. The benefit to being a taxi driver is that if someone's hailing a cab, I can actually go and pick them up. So as you can see in that video, it was raining. And as you can see in this video, it's raining. So we've been getting some good rain here in San Francisco. The second takeaway is that it requires more skill and finesse to be a taxi driver. So there's a few things that, are, that you gotta do as a taxi driver that you don't do when you're a Lyft and Uber driver. First one is you really gotta know the city that you're in because people will just get into your car and they'll give you a, a location, um, like a building, like take me to the Zuckerberg Hospital or take me to the corner of 45th and Noriega, let's say, or take me to Gary and Arguello. And you can't really use your GPS with corners, so you gotta kinda have a pretty good idea where you're going, and the taxi passengers expect you to know that. You also uh, gotta be a little more observant when you're trying to get passengers. You're gonna get some through the app, at least with Flywheel, but you're also looking for passengers that are on the street raising their arm up in the air called hailing a cab. The other thing that you got is you got a lot of different ways to collect the money. So some of the rides will come through the app and those people are already kind of prepaid. But we also work with uh, seniors and disabled folks uh, with a program called Paratransit. So they have a card you swipe. Um, sometimes the card doesn't work, so you've got a form you gotta fill out. So as you'll see in this picture, I had a lot of forms that I had to fill out because my, my swiper wasn't working for the Paratransit. Some people will pay you in cash, so you gotta give them change and other people will pay you uh, with a credit card. So you gotta swipe the credit card, ask about the tip, put the tip in, and then um, give them a receipt. So there's a lot, lot more going on uh, as, as a taxi driver. Takeaway number three is I loved my taxi passengers. And I love my Lyft, Lyft and Uber passengers also, especially Lyft. Uh, but the taxi passengers are really special. There are a lot more seniors. If you think of Uber and Lyft having passengers that are 30 years and younger, uh, taxi passengers are 30 years and older. One, one day uh, in a two hour period, I had a 100 year old woman named Pearl and two 91 year old people. And man, those people have some stories to tell. They're fascinating. The taxi passengers also have strong feelings about the rideshare industry. In short, they don't like it. They don't like Uber and Lyft. They don't like the impact that it's having on you know the streets being more congested with lots more cars. They don't like the way Uber and Lyft treat their drivers. They don't like the impact on the taxi drivers that this industry has had. And once they knew I was writing the article, 
they were all about telling me how they felt. So it was definitely um, interesting, really interesting to have such a different kind of uh, passenger. Number four is about the money that you can make. And you can make some okay money as a taxi driver, but compared to what I can make as a Lyft driver, it's good, but not as good as being a Lyft driver. So I drove for five days. I recorded all the money that I made and I earned about 65% of what I could have made as a Lyft driver. Now, there's a couple things that affected my ability to make money. One was the gate. So the gate is the amount of money that you have to spend each day in order to have the taxi car. So the taxi in my case was $95 a day for a 12 hour shift, which would begin at six and end at six. So that's a, that's a pretty good chunk. So the first $95 that you make goes towards the gate and then everything after that is yours. But the thing that really killed me was the demand. So with Lyft and Uber, I can stay pretty busy here in San Francisco, almost nonstop. There aren't enough people requesting taxis uh, to, to, meet, to, to meet that kind of need. So a um, little disappointed there, but I wanted to know. This was one thing I really wanted to know was how much money could I make as a taxi driver? And, uh, and now I actually know. The fifth takeaway is that the camaraderie I felt uh, working as a taxi driver was really stimulating. I really loved it. I loved working with this group of guys called Flywheel Taxi. I felt like they really had my back. I felt like they really appreciated me driving for them. Um, I don't feel that way driving for Uber and Lyft. I mean, let's face it, we are pawns in their little game. Uh, Uber just changed the whole pay structure so long rides don't pay as much. Uh, Lyft seems to change my bonus every single week. I don't know what I'm going to be getting. Uh, it's hard to feel like a company's got your back when they keep changing the, the, you know, changing the game around for you. But with, be, with being a taxi driver, I felt loved. I felt appreciated. And that felt really good. I also liked, uh, there's like a speaker where dispatch will let you know things that are going on. Like I remember they were telling us that the cruise ship was in and they needed taxis over at Pier 27. Uh, that's great. Uh, they told us when there were accidents to avoid and uh, things like that. So that was a good feeling. So in, in summary, uh, I'm gonna keep doing Lyft because I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me and I get fed pretty well here uh, driving for Lyft uh, almost exclusively now, not so much for Uber. But, you know, a typical week I could work 50 hours and make about $2,000 and I can't get too close to that uh, driving a taxi. So that's the main determinant. I wish it was closer because I really enjoyed the taxi driving. I loved the passengers, the camaraderie. I loved, you know, people just saying, take me to this corner and I knew where to go. All of that was really, really wonderful. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you'd like to see more videos from the Rideshare Guy, by all means, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's great. You get lots of great content. My name is Jay Crater. Y'all go out and you have a great day and be safe out there.